Hi everybody. It's cold. It's a good time of the year. We're definitely outdoors bow hunting today. I have a doe permit and I have a buck permit. So whatever comes walking, it's coming down if I can. This weekend we were supposed to do Black Dome and Blackhead Mountain. We were going to hike that, but it got so cold so quick. Well, it's November. But it got so cold that uh, everybody canceled, which was good because Dylan gave me a weather report and it was going to be real windy and real chilly. Right now it's windy. Um, but this is fun. Uh, first time out this year. Even though it started in October, this is November 7th or 8th or something, and this is the first time out for me. But uh, it was so warm, and I didn't want to get a deer. I like hanging it in cold weather for a couple days after I get one. So I'm up on some state land. Uh, I've seen a lot of deer in this area. My friend owns some property over this way. Actually, there's a kind of a road right here, or a path, that separates the state land and his property. So, I'm just off of the property on state land. And I know there's a lot of deer around here. Matter of fact, there's a couple buck rubs over here. <clears throat> I thought I had everything, but you know, I forgot my release. So, I'm going to have to pull my bow back with my fingers. Let's see what happens. I've never done that. Well, I did do that when I was practicing once, just in case it did happen. But that was a couple of years ago. Well, hopefully this will be a good day. If not, the wife and I are going to go out to dinner and I'll have a steak. <laughs> next time I turn on a camera there's a deer at least and if I can't make a good shot I'm not gonna take it not without a release um, I know there's does and a lot of does in this area all right hey everybody yesterday I was out I came without my release so I brought two today. <laughs> it was cold yesterday. Man, but now it's warm. It's weird. Uh, it's Sunday. I got here a little late. Uh, it's around 2 o'clock. I got up. I think it's about 2. And I'm not far from the road. But there's a big, huge path down here that uh, there's a lot of footprints. There's a lake over here, and I'm in between a lake and uh, that private property that I was up against. So I'm kind of in the middle, closer to the road though. I don't know, I, I just decided to come out. I wasn't gonna come out, but uh, hopefully something might go by. We'll see something, I'll put it on camera. And of course, you, my goal is to harvest a deer, whether it's a doe or a buck, and get it on film. Sorry, I didn't videotape any more than yesterday, but I was so cold. I wasn't ready for that temperature. I wore stuff for like 30 degrees, but it was cold. It was like in the teens. I should have wore my uh, winter gear. I didn't have a course of release, and I was taking a chance of maybe hurting a, a deer instead of killing a deer. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to sit back. If I see a deer or anything, I'll turn the camera on. It's getting dark. I'm probably going to have to call it a night. Didn't see a thing out there. Probably won't be able to pick up anything in the woods. 
buds. So I'm not going to stay late. I really want to get something on film. So I'm pretty much going to pack it up and head for the truck. Anyways, it was good to be outside. I'm going to give it another 10 minutes. It's almost 5 o'clock and it gets dark at 5. Well, anyways, last time I was out, I, uh, it's kind of windy. Uh, last time I was out, I was near the throughway. That's where I'm going again. And around two o'clock I had a doe come running up the hill and so I turned the camera on the camera was all foggy couldn't get any pictures and then right after her a six-pointer good-sized guy comes flying up chasing after her. they would not slow down neither one of them so that's where I am so far I'm a, it's before noon. I'm going to try to get up in the tree in the same location. Maybe it might be a repeat. So, I'm seeing deer. I always see deer. This time I got to get one. Alright, I'll talk to you when I get in the tree. one of the day. They're moving and it's cold out. Cold and windy. So I'm back where uh, next to the throughway. <clears throat> Yesterday I was saying that I had a doe come running up this hill and went behind you guys uh, and then run right past me. She was at a full run, and then as soon as I turned the camera on, a buck came. But this camera fogged up for some reason, or I had it on manual focus. I'm not sure what it was. Well, we're back here. Hopefully, we'll have episode two of that. Uh, as I was walking in, you saw that I kicked up a doe. I don't carry my bow in my hand ready to fire. Maybe I should start doing that, but I won't get it on film. And I'm not here to kill a deer. I'm here to kill a deer on film. So, and it wasn't too far. I thought it was probably 20 yards. I probably could have, if I was ready, I probably could have shot her. So anyways, she came out down there. the time of the year where they're chasing does. Hopefully they're on their feet. And we'll get a shot in today.
had a had a look at the film. Run home. It's definitely a gut shot. I found the arrow, and uh, what a disappointment. <clears throat> the first shot, I must have hit my uh, camera arm, and then the second one, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where it went. I thought I was aiming right for, and it must have went over. I gotta check the, like I said, the film. And uh, the third one, I, I can't believe she gave me a third shot. shot and it here uh, it's kind of back it didn't hit the vitals so I let her walk away um, it was like 430 that was an hour ago uh, I climbed down I found my arrows and then I only well, found the one that I actually hit her with the other two I don't know where they went and got my stuff run home, warm up a little bit, it is 21 degrees and it is windy, I am probably wind chills are down the teens. Five fifteen. Uh, Thirteen hours has gone by. Uh, I'm gonna go out, and try to find this girl. Hopefully the coyotes don't get her. Um, it is cold out. It is nine degrees right now. Uh, I think it's, it's five five sixteen. I think I just said that, but ooh, it's brutal out. It's, if it's been dead a while, it's going to be frozen. Well, we'll see. We're head out right now and see if we can find her. Hopefully, uh, she's dead and she's laying down. She bedded down and she's not hiding too far from me where I shot her. And maybe I can recover those other two arrows I shot. I can't believe she gave me three shots. And, you know, the first shot was a bad shot because when I pulled it back my peep was kind of bent a little bit it wasn't perfectly centered and then I had all that gear on my head I I've never practiced with so much clothes on my head I mean uh, I had that big fur hat and then I had all, all my other hats I've never practiced with the fur hat before and it was off a little bit I went over the top of her Plus, I didn't have, uh, these are excuses. I didn't have a rage finder with me. Um, so I, I gauged it to be about, you know, 35 yards, and maybe that was a little too far. But I've ranged all those trees years before, and, but not in that particular tree that I was in. And I did it from another tree. I wanted to move, but I was only about 10 feet away from where the original tree that I used to go in. Anyways, excuses, excuses, and so hopefully she's dead and I got some meat for the refrigerator. So I'll take you along. Okay, well, I found one of my arrows. Um, kind of stood where I was and I kind of judged it and followed the arrow right to it. So, yesterday I checked the film. She started walking down this hill, this bank down here. And uh, she went in between these two big trees right here. So I'm gonna start right there and see where that gets me. Ooh, is that blood? Yes, that is. That's blood. There's some blood. So 
So she came through here, she's bleeding. I don't know if you can see the blood right there, but there it is. I should go down that way or go this way. I know she's bleeding, so that's a good thing. Make all the tractor. I don't see any new foot. Footprints over there, fresh ones at least. Over here, all the other trail. There's a fresh trail over here. Ooh, blood. There's blood right there. We're on the right trail. There's more blood right there. Ooh, more blood. Blood. Oh, good. We got blood. Oh. Got more blood right there. Ooh, she's bleeding good. Oh, she's bleeding good. I probably didn't have to leave last night but I'm glad I did unless the coyotes got her last night you never know I'll follow the blood trail I got her in the back when I went home I looked at the video and it showed me hitting her right where the liver was and that's probably what that blood is from the liver um, it's a fatal shot but it takes a while for her to die so Okay, she's bleeding pretty good. Got a lot of blood on this trail. In the dark, it would have been hard to find this blood because it didn't start bleeding until now. You know, and we're... You know, we're, we're about... Uh, I would say about 160 yards and it was probably a hundred yards away from my tree stand that I'm starting to get blood but now that I'm you know almost 160 feet away from my stand I'm starting to get a big uh, evidence that she's she bled out so I don't see her though yet so follow the blood trail Some more blood right there. Some more 
Okay. across the tree, creek. Oh, there there she is. She's right there. <laughs> She's right there. She's right there. She's laying right there, right in front of us. Right there. There. Oh man, it's been a kind of a dry spell for me. It's been a couple of years I'm trying to get it on film. Uh, last year, you know, I I got a deer. It didn't get a deer, but I shot a deer. But I didn't get it on film, and I, I ended up hitting it in the shoulder, and the arrow came out. And then after that, there was no blood, and and we looked for days looking for that, and she must have recovered because I didn't see anything so she's a small doe it looks like uh, it doesn't look like a big doe but I don't care so we're probably about 200 yards away and we're about a mile away from my truck oh well come on we'll go check her out and she must have stumbled right here and fell right down She is a small doe. Mm. Uh, well, I gotta get her cleaned up and get her out of there. She's probably frozen stiff after last night. Got down to seven degrees. That's good. I got a deer. Now let me pull her out of the hole. <laughs> 